As route national 15 passes through Baria, the capital of Pukui province, the narrow streets cause defiles and traffic congestion. Roads passing through other villages in the province present similar hazards. Now, on the left of the screen is seen a diversion road located to the northeast of the village of Parlon. It has been built by Australian engineers to divert traffic away from the centre of Parlon and around Nui Duck, which is located immediately to the north of the village. Known as Interprovincial Route 2, the original road shown in the centre of the screen passed through Parlon and one ATF base. It continues north to Swan Lock, the capital of Long Kai province. There are other secondary roads in the eastern section of Pokwe. As the population has been resettled away from this area by the administration, the VC have destroyed the roads to deny their use to the free world forces. Typical damage is shown in these scenes. Interprovincial Route 23 was given particular attention by the VC. Since this film was shot, this route has been repaired and reopened by 180F. Another shot of Route 23 as it passes through the centre of Dat Do Village. It continues to Suyan Mok in the east. From Suyan Mok, it continues east into Bing Kui province. Running south from Dat Do, Route 44 passes through the town of Port Pai on the coast, then following the coast runs west to the town of Long Hai and thence to Maria. From Long Hai to Maria, the road has a picture of the surface 11 to 16 feet wide. Ruined French colonial villas of the Pars Bureau can be seen flanking this route as it runs near the coast. To the south of Barria, a labyrinth of shallow tidal waterways and mangrove swamps link Wok Pui province to the Bong Tau Peninsula. The average tidal rise and fall in the swamp is 4 to 5 feet. Low tide, selected waterways are up to 20 feet in depth and are capable of carrying a large volume of water traffic. The waterways are controlled by South Vietnamese Marine Police. This is the Zyk Kua Lup River as seen from Up Lo Hoi village, which is located near Long Hai. Landing places on the river banks exist in the areas of Up Lo Hoi and Up Kok Na. Another view of this river looking to the north. The film now shifts to the southeastern beaches in the Wok Hai and Long Hai areas. Seen here is the beach in Wok Hai. Dust is a hazard for helicopters landing in the vicinity of the beaches and in many other areas of the province during the drive. The immediate hinterland is mainly low-lying sand here. The town of Long Hai fronts a considerable length of beach.
The beaches generally are usable to LSMs at high tide. Radiums are moderate to very flat. Considerable surf can be expected during the southwest monsoon. A large proportion of the population of the province live in the capital of Barrios. It can be seen in this aerial shot of the town. This is Dato, another important town, as seen from here. Some villages in the province have been destroyed and their inhabitants resettled. To the east of Hua Long is one of these villages, Wok Long. It can be seen in this shot which shows the destroyed dwellings. The inhabitants of the villages were resettled in Hua Long. Another village to suffer this fate was Long Tan. This area was the scene of six RARs crushing the feet of the BC. August 1966. To the north of Nui Dat, amidst rubber plantations, lies the village of Ming Ba. The main street of Ming Ba. Still further north, we see Bing Sha village, which has a population of about 5,000. Bing Sha was established to resettle Catholic refugees from the north during Xin's regime. Outlying villages such as Bing Sha are really fortified villages which incorporate in their defences bunkers, strong points and barbed wire. Regional forces or popular forces troops garrison the village. Nearby is usually located an IRVN compound to which military advisors are attached. An Australian advisor is seen here advising the inhabitants of King Jar on their defensive layout. 